2018 was a bad year for most asset classes, and long-term challenges certainly do remain, but we think 2019 is likely to be better. The Fed is likely to go on to pause after at most two more hikes from now, and the truce in the US-China trade war suggests there's some upside risks to growth expectations in emerging markets. So this month's asset allocation saw an upgrade to China and emerging market equity exposure, and we retain a positive risk stance across the board. But in truth, volatility remains high, and we're unlikely to see new highs, unlike early 2018. We think there's a window for equity returns to be positive over the next three to six months, but to really support that, we do need to see volatility to decline in the near future, much like it did between February and April last year, when it moved from the high 20s down to the teens level. In fixed income, we think that there is a supply-demand imbalance in the US, which will make US long-term yields rise from here. The high level of Treasury issuance due to the government's um, record budget deficit. In addition to the Fed stepping away from the market through its quantitative tightening program. And the end of ECB QE, which will reduce the amount of crowded out portfolio investment which finds its way to the US, means that there is greater supply and less demand than there has been over the last few years. So we think US yields can rise, so we have downgraded from zero to minus one this month. And in sympathy, we've also downgraded Canadian and Australian bonds. But the front end is still anchored by the Fed's pause and by short-term expectations, so we think that this is likely to manifest in a curve steepening. By contrast, in Europe, we think that Germany anchors European bonds, particularly as so few bonds are now in the free float. So although QE has finished, the prospect of a Teltro in the near future should keep European bonds anchored, and we upgrade Spain this month from minus one to zero. We expect growth in all three major global locomotives to slow next year, but we don't expect a recession in any of the US, Euro area or China. We are a little bit more cautious. We've increased our allocation to cash this month. It's particularly attractive above 2%, but we do think at current levels of valuations and the current level of risk sentiment in the market, there's upside risk over the next three to six months, which we would like to take advantage of.